Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. My name is Adef, and this is Challenger Approaching, the show all about challenge runs and the runners who perform them. Gamers, we are back with a tried and true representative of the Souls challenge running community. We are here with V Sweat, a good friend of mine. V Sweat, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, Adef. How is Adef doing today? I'm doing well, V Sweat. Much better now that I'm watching Elden Ring and hanging out with my friend V Sweat. Oh, dude, um, it's always a good time. It is. Uh, Viswa, tell me a little bit about the challenge that we're going to see today. Well, today, ADEF, I decided to show you guys a run through Elden Ring, which is completely randomized. Uh, the only thing that is not going to be randomized is the key items used for progression. So things like getting uh, your, your great runes that allow you access into different parts of the game, those will remain in the location they normally are so that we're not playing this randomizer for three uh, three days, you know? Because, like, it could be, <laughs> you know, you could you, you could be looking for days, right? So uh, Right, yeah, that, yeah looking for much, the great runes forever. Yeah, ev everything's going to be randomized other than the key items. Everything else, though. Yeah, so, you know, every single enemy is going to be a different enemy. Every yeah. single small item pickup is a different item pickup. Every yeah. weapon is randomized into a different, like, location and loadout. Uh, bosses are randomized. It's a whole deal, and V-Sweat's going to try thing. to speedrun it as quick as he can. I am. I'm going to try my best. You can start whenever you're ready, by the way. Oh, are we? Are we getting right into it already? Okay, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah. do it then, I guess. Yeah, let's let's not waste any time. All right, so the, the first thing we need to do, guys, is pick our class. And like I said, the classes are all randomized, so I don't know what the best weapon is going to be here. Now, there's a lot of, like things that I like to look for when I'm picking my class. Normally what I'm looking for is the Serpent Hunter. There's a setting on the randomizer that uh, doesn't let you start with a weapon that you can't wield. So all the weapons that we have to choose from are basically we can use them right off the bat. Now normally I'm not, I'm not going to use the starting weapon that I get here right off the bat. I'm only going to use it as like a, like, a, like a holding weapon until I find something in the run that's going to serve as our main weapon. And since I'm not going to actually care about what weapon I'm using... Ooh, see, we have the Great Hood on this. I normally pick Vagabond because it has really high HP and uh, strength stats. So I usually start Vagabond. However, it has the Great Hood, which lowers our HP. And I don't... Mm, it'll be fine. Let's, let's just start. Let's just, let's just get a run going. Let's hope for the best here, all right? You can just take the hood off. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the hood off. But in this game, as long, uh, as long as you have four separate pieces of armor on, as long as you have four separate pieces of armor on, you get a, da or a defense bonus. So we're going to have to find a hood that's going to grant us a little, uh, a little bonus to defense. The timer starts, by the way. Oh yeah, timer. Let's go. Yeah, when it, like it's it's go time. It's go time. This can, it's I mean honestly the timer's there. We're just here to have fun today, chat. This could be yeah. the best seed of all time. It could be the worst seed of all time. We don't we don't know what we're going to get until we get into it. It it becomes kind of apparent the the the, the more into the run you get how it's going to go. If it's going to be a good seed, if it's going to be a bad seed. Uh, you can see that I took off the hood there and I'm missing a tiny bit of HP at the top and that simply is uh showing how much HP you lose when you wear the Great Hood. I love the Great Hood, though. I really wish that it didn't make you lose HP. It's one of my favorite what, what outfits. Is the, what, what is the purpose behind it making you lose HP? What's the... I don't know. There's a lot of, there's a lot of sure armor there's in this game. Yeah, there's probably like lore or something. There's a lot of armor and stuff in this game that like changes or alters your stats here and there. Um, the reason I also, uh, you might have wondered why I just jumped into the pit there instead of even like trying to fight the boss. In this game, even if I manage to kill that boss, the game still kills you. So it's always just faster to uh, to jump off. Always faster. Uh, we pick up two golden rune eights at the start. That's actually really good. You want to make sure that you, well, you want to make sure that you find enough runes through the playthrough at the start. <laughs> but like, it's a randomizer, so you can't really do that. So finding good runes at the start is always really nice. Uh, the the very first thing, since it is a speed run at the end of the day, the very first thing, the very first thing we're going to want to do is go get torrent. Oh, nice hat, dude! I really like that Renala hat there. Look at that. Maiden that, uh, Maidenless. That <laughs> is that, oh, is that was that? Oh, uh, so Chad, if you guys don't know, Adef is a fantastic voice I actor. Don't, I don't know what he sounds like. <laughs> I don't know. What that but but, but like, like you wouldn't know that if if you didn't say that. Everyone in chat would have believed that that was his voice. I was. On I board. will tell you. If you swing a sword at him, like he goes, ooh. <laughs> yeah, is that what he's? That's exactly. Yeah, if you what he's damage saying. him, he's like, ooh. But I can also not turn on that 
So with the randomizer, this is not part of the uh, the original game. Uh, you can actually receive bell bearing from every uh, from every merchant, and that is going to allow us to take that bell bearing back to the roundtable chat, and we're going to be able to purchase slash look at that guy's inventory back at the roundtable. So that's my idea. That's how you do a speed run for a random. A lot of people would come into chat and ask me, yo, V-Sweat, how do you route a speed run on a randomizer? It's a randomizer, right? Like, how do you... You know, like, like how, is that, how do you route this? And so I was like, that's a good question. So basically, what we want to do is not get killed by this giant troll. Okay. What we want to do is we want to visit high... Oh, boy. Um, we want to... <laughs> we want to... Uh, um, uh, we, we want to we want to visit very high level... You okay there, bud? Um, waiting for this. There it is. I was waiting for that. We want to visit. <laughs> I'm so. I'm. I'm trying my best to. to you're you're, you're, I'm doing you're. I'm doing trying. Fine. I'm, I'm you're trying doing my fine. best. I'm doing. It's, there's a lot happening right now. Okay. Okay. We got torrent. <laughs> we want to visit locations that have a lot of pickups. A lot of pickups yeah. mean we can hopefully find things that are going to help us on this run. So yeah, like graveyards. graveyards, exactly. Graveyards and merchants are our best friend in this. Graveyards and merchants. So we get torrent and we head off, chat. That's where we're going. We're gonna we're gonna go pick some stuff up. There's a route that I've been taking through this uh, the past month. I've been doing it on my channel. For the past month, I've been doing it on my channel, and there is a certain route that I would like to take through this every single time. Oop, Trina Lily, you want to pick up as many of those as possible. Wait, uh, another... Trinas can spawn there? Oh, no, no, no ingredients that's are all random, random. That's all random, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, whenever you can get you mushrooms see... there. Yeah. But... Another thing to note is that we don't have the item crafting yet because we haven't purchased it from Kale. Uh, but once you unlock the crafting kit in the randomizer, the game automatically gives you all the crafting recipes. So you don't have to actually find the cookbooks, which is nice. It is kind of nice. Uh, another thing that about the randomizer, there's a lot of things I need to explain about the randomizer because it's different from the main game. Um, the randomizer has a setting, guys, that you can select. I have it selected right now, and in my opinion, it's still not worth doing, but there is a setting that you can click on the randomizer so that normal weapons that use smithing stones only take three of each smithing stone to upgrade. Uh, fully. So like one, two, three, it would be three upgrades. Whereas normally you would need, I think, 12 smithing ones to do it all, I think. Right, Adef? Yeah. I think. So there's a setting yeah. that you could... Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I know the, I know the Sombers, but I Well, yeah, I the don't. Sombers are normally, and that's where I was getting to. That's exactly what I was getting to. We need to find a Somber weapon. Because even with that setting, of, I would still have to find three of each smithing stone. And that on a randomizer is just not ideal. So we're going to be looking for somber weapon as well as somber upgrade materials. That is exactly what we're looking for. All right, let's go check out Bernal. Let's see what he's wearing, dude. This guy's always got some cool outfit on. What has he got today for us? I mean, that's not too bad. He's got a nice little item pouch there on his waist. I like this. It's not too bad. That's it's pretty giving, good. It's giving Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so not much here. Pearl okay. Drake Talisman, you were, I guess. We were talking about projectile. You got Night Comet right there, baby. <laughs> Did I get an icon? I mean, that's something to note. Like, if, if I mean, I'm, I, I've tried using magic during the speed run on my channel, like writing. It's like, yo, Vswood, why haven't, why didn't you ever try incantations or magic or like, you know, stuff like that? And he's like, you know, what, I'll try it. So I tried it, and it was just, it was rough. It was rough. Maybe I'm just bad, but I did not feel like I was. Well, I, I think I think there's two things about it, right? I think magic is generally speaking going to be slower because you like there's a lot more you got to collect. Yeah. in order for it to be viable, but also mm -hmm. your particular skill set lends itself more towards melee. Yeah, combat. no, for sure. It does. And that's another thing. My goal for this, guys, is to find a two, like a great sword. A great sword is what you need or a great axe or an axe. Something that can benefit from fully charged R2. So we got a somber smithing stone too. That's really good. We need to find a somber one. Uh, another thing to note about the randomizer is that there is a setting that I have selected in the randomizer that gives us a little bit of... I'm not sure what the right word is, but basically what I'm trying to say is that in Limgrave, we're more likely to find early on smithing stones, somber stones for upgrades. It's like progression-based. 
progression based on the real game. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. like so in like how, how deep you are in, you're more like so like on mountaintops, you'll get a somber ten or a nine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The the more uh, the deeper you are into the game, the better the drops will get. So, like, if I somehow make it through Limgrave without finding a somber one, there is a very low chance I'm going to find a somber one later. So I'm going to have to detour back into Limgrave to actually find a somber one. Uh, we're also going to die a lot on this. So, like, if you see me die, it's not the end of the world. Expect a lot of deaths. There's also a really good chance it'll crash, but don't worry. I have, uh, I have a file in my, my game folder that actually makes Elden Ring load very quickly. I don't know the exact name of it, but if we get a crash, it's only a second. Just click launch and it'll be right back up. So just expect a few deaths. Expect a crash, at least one. Usually the game crashes at least once. I would have died right there. That was actually kind yeah, of close. Yeah, I, I found out recently that you can't jump from there. Yeah, no, there's a, a lot of really finicky rocks and jumps in this for sure. Oh, but this is fun though so far. I mean, we haven't found... A, I mean, we found, uh, we found a stealth weapon. I think I saw that. Was it... Bast yeah, we found Bastard Stars. I've never used that weapon. I don't think it's one I want to use. We have a lot of Trino Lilies as well. Uh, if you guys don't know, Trino Lilies are used to craft sleeping pots. So if we find any boss or come across a boss that's weak to sleep, we can make use of that. Uh, we grab this grace because it's just kind of a good central grace to get. Uh, we come back to it many times in the run. So, Adef, how's your day? Is it good, dude? You having a good day so far, man? It's good, how's Adef? Yeah. How's Adef I'm, I'm, doing? I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to this run. I'm, you know, I'm a big Elden Ring fan. I gotta tell Who you this, but I've, I've, I've been playing Lies of Pinocchio. Of Lies late. of Pinocchio. What's he lying about in that game? You know, lots of things. Mostly lots about things. whether or not he is human. Um, so have we decided if he's human or not? I think my playthrough, no spoilers, ongoing. He's undecided. Fair enough. Fair enough, I mean. And by he, I mean me. Right, right, right. Okay, this is actually a really bad spread. We got a rune bear, and those lightning balls there will absolutely one-shot me. Those are, like, super scary. Those lightning orb things. Worth noting, V-Sweat is coming to Kalid this early because this gives you access to Roundtable. That's true. Um, we're heading... That's that's actually exactly what we're doing, is is we're heading to Kalid. Not only for Roundtable, like Yeah, Adef there's mentioned. other reasons to be here. There's high rune yield, like, from <clears throat> Grail. Um... The real reason I'm here is to get the Dectus Medallion. The Dectus Medallions oh, are progression items, so they will spawn here no matter what. There's also going to be a boss on this bridge that looks like an Onyx Lord. I'm not going to engage him. He will one-shot us because he is scaled up very high. His damage is extremely high. We do not want to engage him. If he was to jump off the ledge, though, sometimes if a big boss spawns, like a Magma Worm here, um, he can, like, crawl off that bridge and die. It's and that'll 40, give us... 42,000, yeah, and that's huge on this run, if you can get that to happen. It's not something you want to rely on, though. Uh, we take this route normally in every run that I do, and it just so happens there's a little graveyard here. There's only four pickups, but, you know, we could find something. Based on the... Uh, there's something I didn't really clue into myself, but based on the size and the color of the pickup item dictates what it can be. I, I mm -hmm. never knew that, but I kind of clued into it more that's once in, I started doing in, this. It's in, in other games. Game. Yeah, that's no, in, it's, in, it's in base it's, game. Yeah, it's in base game as well as other Souls games, too. Yeah, it's in Dark Souls for sure. I don't think I ever clued into that. I am so happy that you're there. Oh, every time, <laughs> every time I see an enemy or a boss that I do not want to see on the run in a spot where we don't have to fight him, I'm just just... Wait, oh. that wasn't Lionel Misbegotten, was it? That was the Chad Misbegotten, the final one that's in, I um, think, the Snowfield? I was sure. going to say, like, v I feel like you could fight any Lionel Misbegotten. No, no, that's like my kryptonite. One. That's my kryptonite, that guy. That guy is, uh, he's a scary guy, dude. Uh, speaking of scary, getting this medallion in here, it's a little scary. Uh, very easily we could get a bad spread of enemies and die here, so we'll see if that happens. Going to abuse sound and attack this wall so that all the enemies inside are going to go investigate. Um, I can quit out if it gets too messy. Oh, yeah, that would have been awful if that saw me, that hand there. That enemy's really trying to give me a hand, ADF, but I really don't want its help. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah, it's, yeah. v -sweat going hilarious mode. Um, that's what the V in v -sweat stands for. It's, it stands for very funny, actually. Mm. Yeah. You didn't know that? No, I thought it stood for 
very cool. Well, it stands for that too, but I mean, you know, it stands for a lot of things. But, you know. Virtual. Virtual works. Also, there's sometimes like these chairs that spawn in a circle. I don't know the lore implications on that. Why are there chairs that spawn in okay, a circle? Do you want to hear my lore? I would idea? love to. I, I screw a, a, a what's that guy on YouTube who does the the big lore explanation? That would be Vadi Video. Vadi, yeah. Okay, screw Great Vadi. Content. Okay, I'll oh, okay, give you. I'll, okay, okay. I'll tell you what's going on. A okay. Death Video. These guys, right, are like. You know how, like, in Bloodborne, there are madmen who, like, learn too much? And that's yes. where the insight comes from. Yes. You get, like, the madman's knowledge. The madman's knowledge. My lore that I've told myself about these circles are these are, like, madmen who, like, know too much or think they right. know too much. And they, like, get in a circle to, like, you know, it's like a Socratic circle. They're, like, discussing You're ideas. Gonna, what is Socratic? What did you just Socratic? Socra I do not. It's a, of a, Socrates. It's a new word there, there's, this, there's this really annoying thing in the world of education uh, okay. where like American high school teachers in like the mid to late 2010s got obsessed with this thing called Socratic discussion right? which is this really stupid discussion format where instead of the teacher coming up with the questions, the students come up with the questions. That sounds fantastic. I want to go. Yeah, I, wanna... I hate every single time one of my teachers was like, we're going to do a Socratic discussion. I'm like, cool, so you don't want to work. <laughs> um, and uh, to that, me, that's, these that's guys... That's code for I don't want to work today. Th these guys are holding a little consortium, okay? And they're they're discussing ideas, and then they're so, they're so off the deep end that they just die. They don't... They stop eating. What? Or maybe the Elden Ring shattered while they were hanging out. Dude, I hate when the Elden Ring shatters. It's, that's Bro, I hate when I'm at a picnic with my boys <laughs> gathered underneath the big What's tree. What's your favorite picnic item? I like a summer sausage at a picnic. Chat, what's your favorite picnic item? I like a classic PB&J, I think. Do you bring summer... What's the difference between a summer and a winter sausage? I don't think it's seasonal. I think it's just the name for it. <laughs> Um, I don't oh. know why it's called summer sausage, but it's just like a sausage that you can buy and you don't have to cook it. You can just like eat it on like crackers and stuff. Yo, the okay. somber mother yeah, load know, on I this know, guy. I know, I know, I know. I was just about to say, well, that guy had a somber five, which is um, sometimes really hard to find. So seeing a somber five there is just like the biggest weight off my shoulders right now. Uh, we, now we go back to the third church of Monica. We're heading south to Fort Height to grab the other half of the Dectus medallion. We're on good pace. What is this, 14 minutes? Eh, it's not too bad. We got, uh, when we were talking, I picked up a somber three that I didn't say anything about. So right now, chat, we're just sitting at somber one and four, and we will have a plus five weapon. As far as our weapon goes, I still haven't picked up any somber weapon that I want to use. So we're still on the lookout for that. Uh, but we still have a lot of checks left before I'm like, all right, we need to make a build. And that's exactly what we're doing right now is I'm just running around the world in opt quote unquote optimal lines, probably not optimal, but you know, they're pretty good looking for pickups, looking for items, looking for Trino lilies, looking for mushrooms, sacred tears are extremely important on this. Uh, again, a sacred tier is basically what dictates how much HP you gain back from your flask. Very important to find sacred tiers. Uh, we're hoping this guy has a somber one. Nope. We'll take his bearing, though, for later. And I think there's two or three checks in Fort Height. Not too many. But again, right now, we're really, really hoping to find a somber one. As well as a weapon. Oh. Still no deaths either. I'm very happy about that. I was expecting. I mean, it's GDQ. Whenever, whenever, and whenever you're on GDQ, the worst of the worst always happens, right? That's like the rule. Well, what okay. if the best of the best were to happen? There's that some good be... picnic. There's some good picnic discussion going on in the chat. I must. Is say. there? That's good. That's good. Um, the people talking about bringing the blanket and like low key, the person that brings the blanket is an icon. True. True. I like the you, the red and white checkered blanket. Yeah, even if you are a person that brings necessary items or items that quickly level up a picnic, you're <laughs> goaded for that. Leveling up your picnic, Chad, is what you want to do. Yeah, leveling up your picnic game. Here's some easy... All right, picnic goers Min -max hate these your five picnic. tricks. They hate these five simple tricks. Oh. 
Okay, you need a, a red and white checkered blanket. Right. You need a wicker basket to, that mm. opens at the top because and like has a folded like tea towel inside containing yes. muffins. The tea towel is like literally everything in that. You need a pie that's still steaming. Is off, that possible? The, yeah, somehow. And somehow. then you need you need a line of ants. Ah, oh, the classic line of ants. Yeah, it wouldn't if be you're a the picnic guy, without them. If you're the guy that brings the line of ants, you <laughs> are goaded. So let me get my ants. He just pulls out his yeah. ant farm. Bro, you got an ant, ant guy? I had an ant farm growing up as a kid. Did you did ever you have really? one? I did. No. I did. I fed them sugar bread. Sugar bread? I bet they yeah. loved that. They did. They they loved their sugar bread. Wait, wait. When you say ant farm, did you have like a, a whole like yeah, terrarium? Like, like yeah, big? like the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how big was this thing? Not very big. It was like, I don't know, like the size of like a... A monitor, I guess. Not very big. It wasn't huge. The size of a monitor. I don't know. I'm looking at a monitor. It's about, it was about the size of my monitor. I don't know. It was like, like, like 18, 19 inches yeah, across. Like it was, yeah, exactly. Oh, this could be a weapon right here. Or it could be queen's leggings. Exactly. And chain what, leggings. Don't forget the chain leg. No, that's not what you we wanted. You need both pairs of pants. Every time I see the, uh, the big glowing gold beacon i'm like oh please be a weapon that i want to use please be a weapon or a remembrance that'd be nice too lots of early game runes which i mean we've been doing pretty good on we have a we have a decent amount of runes yeah not too bad did your did your ant farm have that thing that content creators who have ant farms have where like the glass is the farm is laid out in such a way that like when you look on from the side you can see all the tunnels and stuff oh yeah yeah of course oh yeah I didn't know that there were ant farms that you didn't like. See. I don't know if there are. I, that's just the only one I thought I've that, seen. I, on I thought YouTube the ant videos. farm meta was to have. No, that glass. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know I th the, I, the amount of things I know about ant farms is zero things. Zero things. Do you Except know the band Alien sugar Ant bread. Farm? Sugar bread is meta. Like the the ants love sugar that. Sugar bread is meta. <laughs> it is. Oh, okay. So here's a funny story, Chad. Oh, I, hate I want those guys. I wanted to turn this enemy off. But it doesn't look like he's going to see us. This enemy can just kill you from wherever. Like, if I was coming down, I said, let's just say I was coming down through here. And let's pretend that guy saw me when I emerged out through this field. He could kill me down in the lake. It is quite the range on that guy. But uh, it looks like he's going to cooperate today, which is nice. I'm still, I do not trust him even for a moment, but I don't think he's going to see us. That 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 exact enemy has killed me more times than I think anything else doing these runs for the past month has ever killed me. I'm gonna get this just in case we die. Would not normally get this on a run. It's a little time loss that I would rather just skip. But we could die, so I don't want to go all the way back. Would be nice if we didn't have to do that. Somber one, no somber one, no weapon either. From what I glanced at. Wait, did that Caleb somber guy really not have a one? No, he does not. He had twos he had, and fives. I thought he had one, two, four, five. Nah, he had twos and fives only. There's three checks in this lake as well. But yeah, like I said, uh, the, the, the main idea, the main goal is to travel throughout the lands, get all the graces, and then once we get enough items, we make a build and go with it. That is what... Oh, the inseparable sword. What is that? I'm not sure I know that one. The inseparable sword is a great sword, somber weapon. That might be what we run. Actually, we'll see. We'll What's see. I'll look more into that. that thing? I don't know. I have to look, but I also need to not. Oh, that's unfortunate. Somber four. Let's go. Now I just need a one. Somber two. We already have that. Nice pickup, though. Uh, now we're gonna take a, a line through the forest here. I've just started doing this line, so I don't think we'll get lost. That was interesting. I'm predicting EG has the somber one. Who? The, the. Oh, Smith, Izzy, the Izzy, 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 Izzy. Um, Izzy. It's Izzy. It's Izzy, dude. No, it's, it's Izzy. not. Chat, tell Adef he's wrong. It's Izzy. No, it's not. It's 100% Izzy. It's EG. <laughs> That's what I said. No, you said Izzy. <laughs> You said, said like how it you said like how it feels when you have a bug bite. Like that's <laughs> it that's itchy. Oh uh, dude. Alright, let me look at this sword real quick. Oh god, okay. Uh, it's a faith mm, Faith chat. If you ever see a faith weapon, try and stay away from it. Faith is not very uh 
great in this game, honestly. But beggars can also not be choosers right now. Might run it. Is it AG, maybe? AG? No, what, it's got to be how's Iggy. It spelled? How's it spelled? Not what's Iggy. His, what's his title? Sir Iggy the Blacksmith, clearly. It's so interesting to me because, like, I always, like, I never, and I mean, I always, always, I never have uh, the music playing in this game. So the ambience is like, wait, what's that noise? And I'm like, oh, it's just the ambience it's of the I game. It's I-J-I, dude. It's definitely E-G. <laughs> it's E-G. Iggy. It's Iggy. No, uh, we're not, not discussing EG. this anymore. We're not discussing this anymore. All right, we're taking this to go to Iggy because it's faster than uh, horseback. Still haven't died yet, which is interesting. I bet this will be deathless. That would be phenomenal and absolutely wild if it was deathless. But I'm not sitting here saying that that's impossible. It could happen. Will it? I'm I doubt it. Maybe. Here's, our, here's homeboy Iggy. I'll grab this grace because the graveyard I'm about to go to results in my death a lot. I've also noticed that it's not really ever worth talking to this guy because you have to do a lot of dialogue and you only get four things you can check. Oh, he had a sacred tier and he has this... Spike crack tier is pretty good. Oh, that's super. That's so good that I'm actually going to take a time loss to buy it. Well, you know something's good if I'm doing this. So I'm going to spend a few runes, just enough to get this. That's going to leave us with 800. So if I die up here, I'm not going to come back. I'm just going to leave my runes on the floor and keep moving. Uh, but usually there's a lot of bad enemies up here, so maybe there won't be today, but usually it's pretty rough. We'll see what we get. I'm going to go to full health. Uh, I don't see anything too bad yet. This might be okay. Oh, please be something. That's really good. Okay, yeah, that's that a lot good. of souls or runes. Sorry. I, oh, ooh, that enemy's so, so strong. Somber one. That's somber one. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. You just you just Did picked I actually? up a somber one. Did yes. I actually just pick up a somber one there? Yes. Really? Yeah. I, I almost don't believe to, you. I didn't notice. You're we welcome got a crash. to check your Here's damn inventory crash. if you don't trust me. <laughs> That's our first crash. That's okay. Just going to load it up again, chat. Like I said, with the randomizers, the crashes happen quite a bit. Whenever you crash and reopen, you'll have to reshare your game on Discord with me. Oh, sorry. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's all good. Stream. There you go. All right, Thank go. you. No problem. Now, let's see where it spawns us. Did I... Did that count? It did. One, two, three. Okay, we're good. We're going to keep moving. So, sometimes when the game crashes, it puts you back miles. Like... Almost confusingly places you back really far. Uh, but it didn't happen there, so that's good. Also, let's see. Do I have a dagger? I don't have anything I can throw. Do I have a bow? I don't have a bow or anything oh, I can throw. Oh, for the skeletons? Well, now, for these balloons up here, there's five yeah, checks on the way. That's what so. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. uh, the, um... EG, or Itchy, as you would say, uh, he had gravity, uh whatever's whatever gravity stones i think are on the ground only i think never mind i'm pretty sure i might be wrong you can come back for these later probably won't even come back there's a really tough graveyard over here there's a lot of checks but a lot of enemies so i'm gonna grab this grace and go for it because i still would like to get a weapon that's not that holy great sword like at the end of the day i'll use it but i don't want to use it Holy's just not a good damage type in this game. All right. Uh, spread looks okay. Let's see what we get. Lightning Scorpion Charm there. Not going to use that, though. Don't have lightning damage. Yeah, this is a great, great spread. No pressure at all, really. Usually, there's just everything and everything trying to get us right here, but this is nice. And even if I do die, it's not the end of the world because I already got all my pickups, and I also have uh, I also have no uh, no runes to lose. We get poison, but that's okay. 
We're out of there. I have three heals. That should be... Uh, do I have a ballus by chance? I don't have a ballus, so I... I think we'll be okay. With, with with two with two flask of tears, we should be fine here, I think, to live this out, guys. Should be alright. He said confidently, not knowing if he was actually alright or not. I don't think it's enough. <laughs> you don't think? Oh no, we got two heals. There's the gonna be poison, so many it lasts so long. It does. It really does, actually. You know, I've lost a run recently to underestimating poison. It was pretty unfortunate. But you're right, it definitely lasts a long time. <clears throat> but I am going to get a grace up here. And at the end oh, of the day, this is fine. this is GDQ. I'm not trying to push the limits too much today. I'd like to get a sub. If I got a sub two hour run, that would be absolutely on another level. Wow, but that Spirit Spring is nuts. Yeah, it's a really good one. But uh, again, if we finish too early today, guys, I think I'm just going to run around and do extra bosses. I think that'll be fun. Maybe we can go hunt for millennia or something. I still say I'm going to get Millennia in Radon's Arena. It's 100% happening. To determine if you have I seems torrent, well, it's such a torrent. There's like 180 bosses. I know, but it's 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 going to happen. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to happen, dude. 165, by the way. Would you rather get her somewhere else? I'd rather just not get her. Yeah, that'd be cool. Right, but why... <laughs> are, are you just saying Radon because it's required? Uh, or it's in route? It's a, high, it's a high scaling area, Radon's. So sh her scaling would be pretty high. Which doesn't make sense, you would think, based on, you know, she's a late game boss herself. But, like, our HP heading into Radon is, like, she would one-shot us, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. It would be bad. It would not be good. It would be tough. Just hitless, five head. I mean, I could, but, like, one miss... Like, Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. What if maybe maybe she'll be in Margaret's arena and then like that'll just be GG. Just parry waterfowl, dude. Just parry waterfowl, guys. It's simple. Quite simple. I think I don't have any sacred tears. Let's hope we find one right here. You have one, I think. I do have one. Okay. I haven't really been keeping an eye out. Yeah, I have one. Would like more. Two here. Really good and cheap. That's awesome. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I forgot to check, ADF, what our uh, weapon art is on this thing. I'm also going to drop an item in case we crash again. Every time you drop an item, the game updates its save, I guess. So I will respawn there if we crash coming up. This is just somewhere I've noticed crashes can happen. I don't know why. Every time I get close to the Dectus lift, it happens. Not all the time, but it's just a place I've noticed it happens kind of frequently if I had to pick a place. So I've started dropping an item before it. I could drop another one, honestly. Uh, if you reload into the boss, does it re-randomize or are enemy no. randomizations saved? That would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, be I don't really know how the game would handle that. but Yeah, that'd be cool. be an interesting setting. But no, it will always be the same boss. Oh, this is another thing. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if you guys knew, but this seed is random. I've never I've never played this seed before. This seed was not crafted for this event. This was, and a lot of people asked me if I was going to do that, and I considered doing it, but I, mean, I wanted to have fun. I wanted it to all be a, a surprise. Yeah. So yeah, sure this is completely fine. random. I've never done this seed before. We also just got Gargoyle Twin Blades, I think is the name. Really good weapon, but... For this run, not very good because not much stagger. Staggers are everything in this game, as far as I'm concerned. So the fact that we found... Uh, wait, did I not pick up... Oh, no, that was a tier. That was the tier I picked up. My bad, my bad. I was thinking I picked up the Axe Talisman, which is a Charged R2 Talisman. We picked up the tier that increases Charged R2 damage. If I were to find the Charged R2 Talisman to pair with that tier, oh my goodness, we would be doing pretty good. Um, so there's a grace that we're about to grab right here, guys, that is kind of another checkpoint if I want to come back and explore Altus for things. So I am not going to explore Altus right now. I'm just going to touch the grace. And if I feel like I can come back, if I need to get more checks, I'll come back. But for now, we're just going to keep moving. That is not a good spot for that wolf to be. I hope he doesn't chase us or shoot magic at us. On top of that, there's two bosses at the top of this staircase. 
Um, very good chance the game can crash or I can die here. Oh boy. Oh, there's a. <laughs> that's the. Uh, that's DTS from Malekith right there. So that's technically another boss. That's going to shoot. I have to quit out here. The reason I have to quit out here is because that DTS guy was going to hit us with a lightning bolt if I didn't. Every time you get out of range, he will shoot a lightning bolt that will one shot you. So we're going to quit out to de aggro him. Good thing I just clued into that. Oh boy. Okay. This is. Uh, okay. Just go that's around Placid the right side, bro. That's Placidus X. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Nothing bad would ever happen. Okay, we got a boat guy. This is so fine. He's gonna just he's gonna miss us entirely. Or he's gonna scream. That's even better, actually. Just keep going, dude. That is absolutely terrifying. Oh boy. Oh, oh um You could quit out again. Uh, I could quit out, but that's slow. We need to be fast, right? I'm a little scared, actually. How is the game not crashing? How is the lightning over what? Okay, Plots of Dusax, I am quite far away from you, dude. I would like it if you would stop, please. Thank you. That's terrifying, but also really good because now we're not going to get Plots of Dusax in a small arena. If you get him in a small arena, it's... Skrit is telling me to remind you to get a grace. Oh, thank you so much, Skritoon, dude. There's a, there's a grace coming up that I notoriously forget and ruin every run. Uh, on my channel. So I'm going to get this grace. I'm not... I need ADEF to remind me to. I do not... It's right do here. Not it's miss like the, no, it's not seconds. this one. It's, it's a different one. It's a different oh, one. Oh, you're going to get here. the one closer to DTS? Yes. It's near a merchant, actually. I'm going to the merchant. And what I always do is I talk to the merchant and then teleport away and forget the grace. Every day. Dude. Every day. I don't know why. That's a good talisman, but it's not good for our build. But it would have been nice on any other magic build. Traveler's Clothes. Oh, a cool mask. We gotta look good on our run, Adef. Yeah. Of course. Let's put on the console. Yeah, there we go. It looks pretty good. I like this. Gotta look good. Gotta look good. Great shield talisman. What does that do again? Forget. Is that defense? Yeah, buff? the guarding, guarding ability. There's another shield talisman. I think it's just called like, I forget, like tower shield. That's like a defense top. Get the grace. Get the grace. I literally was about to go talk to him and not get the grace. I like this outfit. It's kind of nice. You talking about the dragon great shield custom thing? You know what I'm talking I about? I think so. Oh, and we got two. This is a spicy, spicy run right now. That's like really good. I need a somber six now. And we could have a fully upgraded weapon all the way to plus seven if I find one. That's really good. Two merchants on the way to Radon's arena yeah, the, that I'm going to grab. the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. That's the one that I'm thinking of. I get that, yeah, that one confused. That one just boosts your defense against physics. It's a really good talisman, too, yeah. It's typically in uh, Faramazula, I think. Is it? Or maybe the plus one is in Faramazula? Maybe. Not sure. There's a lot about this game I don't know. It's been a lot of fun doing this randomizer because it's actually been teaching me quite a bit about the game. Because normally, like, what I uh, what I like to do on my channel are, uh, are, like, different types of challenge runs and hitless runs that are very scripted in what it is I need to do. So I only end up doing the things that I need to do and I don't end up seeing, you know, 90% of the game because of that. So doing these randomizer runs have been a lot of fun. I've been learning a lot. And it's always good to learn, Adef. Always good to learn. That is the Frenzy Troll, a very scary enemy. That is the one outside of Volcano Manor. This has just been really good. Like, I haven't died yet. I can't... Oh, no, wait, we died once, but it was actually an all-right death because I just teleported back to the Grace I was going to teleport back to anyway. He has absolutely nothing. I'm not even going to get his bell bearing. I've noticed that that... Merchants, for some reason, seems to always and only have uh, arrows. It's weird. I don't know if it has something to do with the rando settings, but over the past month, I've noticed that that guy consistently has nothing. I don't know why. He just hates you. Apparently. I don't know why. A few checks right here. 
another circle of chairs. Do you have a three? Do you have a somber three? I do. I have everything except a six. Which is like That's above fine. average <laughs> for, for five, my seats. Five will get you pretty far. You could beat the game in five. Uh, I did a run last night on my channel that was really, really bad. One of the worst seeds I've ever ran and didn't give up on. Just under three hours with a plus five. So, and it was bad. Like I had, it was, the bosses were horrendous. It was just a rough run, but I still did it in under three. Nice. Uh, if anyone in chat's wondering, the fastest I've ever done this is 142. Don't expect a 142. <laughs> that run was everything lined up in that run. There's the Somerville um, bearing one. Missed it. Yeah, that, I mean, that could have our, uh, our six. <clears throat> in case you want to pivot or... No, 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 it has the one, two, three. Oh, does it? I'm not sure if that actually uh, lines yeah, up in the rando. I'm, I'm not I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I don't the, the rando still keeps the somber one, two, three oh, bell does bearings it? Interesting. as okay. the same items. Okay. Maybe that's a setting, but... Um, I'm grabbing this grace because there's a bug that can happen with this teleporter that's only happened to me on the rando where sometimes I take this teleporter, I crash, and then the game puts me up near that castle on foot. And it's, I have to go all the way back. I pressed the wrong button there. Oh, what? Hey, hello, please. What are you doing? I'm not doing I... anything. The game's doing this. That was interesting. I didn't. Okay. Sometimes right. Elden Ring does stuff. I don't know. I, I assure you I didn't press the button to get on the horse. I might have done it the first time, but not the second and third. <laughs> no idea. Sometimes it's better just to smile and nod, chat. Just, it's Elden Ring. Things happen sometimes. Don't question them. Okay, we get this grace, and that is everything. Um, I'm actually going to... No, I'm, I'm just going to go back to Shrine. I'm just going to go back to Shrine. I was going to go check that merchant in Altus for a six, but I'm okay right now. Let's go do this. So um, I need to focus right now. I'm not going to say anything for a couple minutes because I have to figure out what build I want to run. And that takes a little assessment. So just give me a sec here, guys. Listen to ADEF. He'll keep you company. Aaron, how's everybody doing? Good Everybody's job, ADEF. Everybody's doing well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hope everybody's just having a, a splendid time. Vswitch is selling basically everything that is highly valuable. You'll notice he's also selling armor pieces and be like, why is he doing that? Um, well, he's not going to need them. Uh, there is no need for, like, broadly, yeah, you could have a couple all right armor pieces, but Vswitch is probably just pretty confident that... Uh, I like this armor. We're, we're keeping this armor for the whole run. Yeah, and also the likelihood that armor is going to change how Vswed plays is very low. As long as I'm mid-rolling, it's, it's it. It's all I care about. Mid-rolling armor. All right, this is the important part, so here we go. Got to yeah, offer so all of these. Offer every bell bearing and then look through and be really careful about what he buys. Because rune acquisition is kind of... Oh, we got steeple. There's someone. In, there's going to be so many people like so mad at me if I don't pick this weapon. Do you not want to? I will. It's... I know. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> it's a really good weapon. It's just... It's it's almost a channel meme at this point. So it's funny that it showed up. It's funny that I'm using it. It's, it's, just, it's just making me smile. That's all. Frog mask. Was there a frog mask? Frog mask. Do I, do I want the frog? Doesn't this it's like lower you. something? I don't know. I'm not wrong. I don't want the frog mask. That's I'm good. Fine. That's fine. I think, it, I think it lowers something. I don't want to... That could be good too, actually, if I get more God. I'm gonna grab that. That could be good if I get more God. Sacred tears are important. That's a really good tier. I'm gonna get that too. Dude, I'm buying it. This is actually a lot of stuff. I'm usually not buying this much. Some really good talismans. Wasn't that the warrior jar shard just then? Yeah, but for my weapon art, I'm not gonna be. Oh, yeah. There's our five. That, that. I'll keep this noted that the seven is in the Hermit Merchant bell bearing, so I'll remember that and come back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip the steeple, which is a really good weapon. Can you two-hand um, this right now? I am going to two-hand it, but I need 22 intelligence to wield this thing. So before we upgrade it, I'm, I'm going to go and level up my intelligence to 22 to make sure I have enough. 
Does I think I saw someone in chat say that that, that into... mask is an arcane boost, I think. I glanced over and I saw that. I knew that mask did something. Sorry, I cut you off, Adef. I was just going to ask, uh, two-hand only affects dex and strength, right? I think just strength, actually. Really? Okay, so let's do 15, 22. Is that enough for this? Yeah, steeple? it's 19 on strength. Yes, we're good. So now that we can actually wield this thing, I'm, I'm going to go and level it up as much as I can. I think I can get it to a plus five. Barely. Oh, ba we're down to 800 uh, runes. That is so precise. This runs really good. I'm so happy. Let's go. Now it's boss nice. time, chat. Nice. It is You're gonna time. You're going to melt this boss. Oh, whoever this... Uh, okay, I hope this is Millennia because she won't stand a chance if this is Millennia. The only thing I don't have right now is HP, but that's okay because we're only in Limgrave. Whatever boss this is, we should be fine. He said confidently, knowing that not everything might be fine, but it should be. This arena is also one of the worst arenas in the game. The swords, dude. Oh, dude, this... This weapon is going to do work. I'm going to get the grace in case I die. You never know what we're going to get. Yeah, this is... I, I couldn't ask for a better start. This is better than 99% of the runs on my channel every day. Oh, it's this guy too. Bad opener, but that's all right. One of my favorite bosses here. This is a good boss. So we can get him in a loop here if I stand right on his arm. It's not a consistent loop, but it happens quite a bit where he just does this shield slam. We're also going to frost him in a couple more hits. This should kill. Really strong weapon dealing frost and fire on the weapon art. Second talisman pouch, but we don't have any good talismans. I have lightning negation, but no lightning enemies yet. Yeah, those bell bearings, one of the coolest enemies in this game, in my opinion. One of my all-time favorites that they added. When I first fought one, I was like, man, this sword attack with the sword flying around is so dumb. But then I was like, oh, just <laughs> It just is, but once you get in. in. Yeah, once you get in there. Once in. you get in I mean, there, that's dude. That's the solution for like... For 99% <laughs> of the bosses. Yeah, roll yeah. in. Just roll in, dude. Don't be scared. Get in there. All right, we're going to open the gates because the archers normally up there are randomized. So we can just go on through and... Unless one everything. of them happens to be... That would be hilarious and has not happened yet. But that would be really into funny. its yeah. normal location. Yeah, that would be... Well, I mean, there's other archers. That could be an archer from somewhere else too. But that's actually a really good point, which has not happened. This area, I am known to die in quite a bit. So I'm going to focus because there's a lot of strafing and dodging going on. I think that was a vanilla guy right there in the middle. I think you're right. There's a dog behind me. I can quit out, which I will take advantage of if I have to. Jellyfish and a Stormhawk. That's not a good enemy. I'm taking advantage of an animation cancel. Every time I pick up an item, I'm holding block and it's shortening the, uh, the animation, as you can see. That's so sick. How did I not know about that? 180 that, keep running. That pickled uh, crow fits oh, really good. Yeah. Okay, so there is the lightning ball, which I have talked about at the start of being one of the scariest enemies. Since a lightning ball has spawned here, I'm not going to go for any more item pickups. We're just going to go straight past it. Because that lightning ball is, in my opinion, one of the scariest things that can, can spawn in these randomizers in a high density area. Very likely to die there, though. There's just so many good pickups that I don't want to miss. And I'm really glad that we got a gold pickled or what is it, gold pickled foul foot? That's going to increase mm -hmm. the amount of souls we get, or sorry, runes we get uh, for the next boss. Probably going to use that on Radon. Another thing to note about the randomizer is every single boss fight, like when we go to Radon, whatever replaces Radon will give us the same amount of runes as Radon would normally. This is a really rough spread of enemies. Yes, that was a a lot of damage, actually. I'm going to quit out here. Okay. Just for you, safety. You walked so far! Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. 
<laughs> Alright, here we go. Still not out of the water yet. Alrighty, made it. Okay, good. That area is always scary. Lightning? Didn't see us, good. The, the lightning, even though it's just a ball of lightning, does have a front and back. So if you're on the back side of it, it will not see you. Even though it's just a ball of lightning. Ooh, follow up what? there. Is the game That's lagging a... just on Discord? Uh, yes. All right, never Pretty mind. Sure. You're good. Yeah, you're yeah. good. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're good here. What's our time right now? I wonder. Let's see. It's at like 47. 43? That's really good. <laughs> That's super good. I'll get this grace. Why not? After Godric, we'll take our... <clears throat> we'll first take break? Our Godric, first you break. say? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, after Godric. Cool. I'll quit out. I quit out here uh, because I won't, it wouldn't let me sit down at the, the grace to refill our Estus or our... You'll notice I say a lot of Dark Souls terms. I used to play a lot of Dark Souls. It's really hard for me to say runes and flask of crimson tears. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just say my Estus flask. No, those get? are Estus. That's Estus, dude. <laughs> Every time. Oh, okay. That's good that you're running towards us. Nice maneuver for nice that backstab. backstab. Charge R2 for the kill. Good. Same thing here. Get close. Backstab. Yeah. R1 combo. Shh. There we go. Yeah. Practiced these guys a bit the other day, so I knew that follow-up was coming. Glad I did. It paid off. Really good time. I'm going to quit out. 44, 40. Oh, man. Okay. If I find a six, this could be like a, a really, really, really good run, guys. Wow. Huge. All right. You want to take the first break? Let's do it. Let's take a quick break, All right, break, gamers. Guys. Everybody stick around. My advice to you, your homework during the break is to follow VSweat. If you're watching on YouTube, the link is in the description. If you're watching on Twitch, if we can get a shout out for VSweat in the chat right now, that would be epic. Twitch.tv slash VSwed, that's your assignment. Gamers, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. There's more Elden Ring randomizer coming up in just a moment. Stay right there.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Game Sun Quick Hotfix. This is Challenger approaching, my God, on this fine Friday night. I'm doing a tongue twister. Everybody, I am ADEF. We are joined by VSweat. Here's some announcements for you really quick. GDQX will be live from TwitchCon, October 20th to the 22nd. That's right, we're back, baby. The event will take place on the Games Done Quick stage, as well as being streamed live on our channel. Use exclamation GDQX in Twitch chat to find out more info and to check out the schedule. I have a backup run, and I will be there. So, who knows? Maybe I'll end up playing a video game. You never know. Uh, but uh, VSweat, take it away whenever you're ready. All right, we'll count it down. We'll go five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to continue, chat. Good we're going to continue, and we're going to head straight to Radon's Festival to see what is in Radon's Festival. We just took down Godric, got our first great rune. We're going to head straight over there right now. We are in the process of finding an upgrade. We need a somber six. And uh, if we find a somber six, it's going to be good. It's going to be good if we find a somber six. Let's hope. Champions! Champions! Welcome! The, the stars, stars have aligned! Have aligned. <laughs> no, it's aligned! You gotta get the <laughs> accent. Aligned! Aligned! <laughs> it's so good. Champions! Welcome! So this could be bad. Um, I was talking to ADEF and my community at the start of the stream and yesterday. And I'm just literally waiting to get the worst boss fight right here. We have no HP. Like, we have some HP, not much. If I get something tanky, if I get a Stell in this arena, I will pretty much have to pivot and go do Renala. Like, I don't think I would be able to. Maybe I could take, like, we'll try. We'll see. Maybe it won't be bad. Let's just see. But this is definitely our first this could be bad moment of the run. I mean, I guess technically the first moment is if you don't find a setup weapon or anything like that. But this boss is usually like one of the bad ones. But we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be fine. fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Dude. Oh, I got to start remembering to use my flask. You can actually horse right here, ADEF. Save a little bit of time. Didn't know about this until I started doing it. Didn't really clue in that I could do that. Kind of nice. Kind of weird, actually. Yeah. Anyway, who do we get? Come on, be something good. That's awesome. Okay, that is like the... Okay. Putrid Avatar is so easy. Okay, like this could not... Okay, this is getting kind easy of silly. Mode. This is easy getting kind mode. of silly. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of bosses left. There are, there are, but like, I just, I was expecting the worst, right? You can sneak up on this boss if I went around, but it's whatever. Nice. Just absolutely the most the most wild pace I've had in so long. Just so good. I think the gray spawns about right here. You need to touch this grace before the game lets you leave. Did we get it? I did. Nice. Huge! So I'm going to get the grace and I'm going to head back to this junction here and I'm going to take some time to go look for a somber six. Um, <laughs> there's a merchant as well as two graveyards I can check and I'm going to take the time to do just that. Also going to level up our HP all the way as much as I can because we are getting into the midpoint of the game and things are starting to hurt uh, quite a bit. But yeah. A uh, little time loss here, but like I said, sometimes the, the reason you don't want to go up here is in case you find a six later. Like, you could find a six in Lendell, but I'm just going to go now. If 
feel like the extra... If I didn't have a 7 on hand waiting, then yeah. I think it would make more sense to wait. But right now, I'm going to go up. I'm going to go for it. Just to check. I'll get the... What I will do if this merchant doesn't have a 6 is I will just grab the grace and then... Uh, oh, wait, no. There's a different There's a different route I'm going to take. Never mind. I won't grab this grace. Forgive me. I'm going to do something else. Well, let's see if he's got a six for us. That is a five, sadly. Which is all right. We're just going to continue our way. Uh, we're going to continue our way into uh, Lendell. There's a couple checks before whatever we have to fight for DTS, which is Dachronic Tree Sentinel guarding the entrance to Lendell. Uh, we'll check those hopes that we get a somber six. Did I pick up a seven? No, I didn't pick up a seven. No, no, no. That's back at the. Actually, that's a good thing to remember. Back at the shop, we have a somber seven, but it's expensive. I think it was like thirteen thousand. It was. Yeah, it, it was, was like, like twelve thousand really, eight hundred. Yeah, or something. yeah. So I'm gonna have to remember uh, that I actually need to save some runes. So it was actually. I guess it would have been a waste of time if that merchant had it because I don't have the runes for it anyway right now. Kind of just remembered how expensive it was. That's okay. Oh, this could be it. This could be a six. Oh, it's an eight. Interesting. <laughs> I really, I really thought you just called it. Oh, well, I knew it could be based on like the the the, the length of the white uh, beacon. I guess you could call it the white beacon. Uh, the like the 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 ambient effect. Yeah. Who do we get? That is okay. Like you can't draw that. You can't. You can't draw Mad this up right now. Head, this is dude. the easiest. Well, not the easiest, but one of the easiest bosses that you can get in the randomizer because all he does is this. He is tanky. I, can I get this? I can. Oh, I gave me the backstab. That's all right. Oh, it, I mean, easy style. Uh, this is by far the best run I've ever had. This is by far the best pace I've ever been on. This is something else. This is silly. Okay. We're going silly mode. This is inane. I can't believe inane? it. Inane? Inane. It's another word for silly. As in silly or stupid? I think it's inane would be like silly. I always yeah, use it yeah. as inane. No, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what it means. I really like this armor. I'm really I'm liking what we got going here. Kind of nice. So again, peepers peeled for a somber six, guys. Peepers peeled. Peepers peeled. Peepers peeled. <laughs> peepers peeled, guys. Can we get peepers peeled in the chat, please? <sighs> Runes are nice at this point, but not needed. So it's like kind of a letdown every time I get one. 51 minutes. Okay. We're going to avoid text here by just, uh, well, actually, I don't even need to sit down. I have seven flasks. Okay. Never mind. I was just going to teleport to that, and that'll refill our SS without getting the dialogue, but I don't even need to. We're doing so fine. So fine? So fine. Well, usually the DTS boss does something, right? Usually. Usually. But that was, a. Uh... One of the best things you can get. I've yet to get Soldier of Godric as well on any of my Oh, runs. yeah, that. Soldier of Godric for Elden Beast win. Uh, that would be really funny. Uh, we got the Smithing Six. It's teasing us. This could be it. Nope. We'll take a Golden Rune 12. This could be it. Oh, it's a Smithing. <laughs> it's likely to be in one of these areas. Surely. Right, because it's <clears throat> it's a six, so it's more likely to be in yes. like Lane yes. Dell than anywhere else. Al uh, Altus as well. Yeah. And I do have two backup graveyards to check in Altus. I always wish there was a bond, or sorry, a, a side of grace before the uh, rolled uh, elevator because you can't actually go that way without there being anything you could grab for later. Otherwise, I could check stuff up there. But that would be a waste of time if there's nothing, because then you'd have to run all the way back, then run again when you actually want to go there. This You're could be currently it. inside my favorite building. This could be it. Ugh. 
uh, every time. This is your favorite building. We've talked about we this have building. We've talked about this. We've building. had a conversation building. about this I'm building a, before. I'm a big. I'm peepers peeled for this building. Okay. <laughs> peepers peeled for this building, chat. Uh, we're getting this for Fire Giant. Uh, just grabbing the the door and heading straight back down. Interesting that we have two talismans and both of them are Boltrick. Something to remember if we see a dragon. Ex exists, but it's not useful for this. No, weapon. not for this weapon. The, the casting of the weapon art actually does damage, so okay. it would increase that damage. But okay, but that. Come yeah. <laughs> So there's the building. Great building. Great uh, infrastructure. The outside is fantastic. You can't see the, it, but there's like that. The, yeah. The rotunda in the ah. back. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's just, it's so nice. Oh, that's not a good spread of enemies. There's a lot of checks down there that I would normally love to go look at, but I also don't want to die. That's weird, wanting to not die. I know. Who would ever want to not die? So there's a blue. That could be it over there, which makes me sad that I'm skipping it, but. This could be it. There's more than one. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Stop. That saves us a lot of money, though, at the, at the end of the day. Finding yep. that seven. Saves you 13 Silver grand. linings. Going to take a little time loss and grab this grace. There are checks up here. You could, with this grace, go check the... You could level up and then go check the checks down there. I could. I could do that. I'm going to go check these six. There's six checks up here. I'm going to grab them. Just walking around with 59k runes. Ah, rune schmoons, dude. I have said this. <laughs> Good spread here. Two golden rune ones. Love that. You're going to need those. <laughs> oh, those are going to literally save the run here. You're going to be 100 runes short of something. I don't know you're how gonna, scary this so guy glad. is, but I'm going to try and kill him because it's a check. Oh, easy. Golden rune eight. That's usually a... Uh, Erd tree avatar. Yes, that is normally an Erd tree avatar. Golden Rune 12, Lump of Flesh. This could be one up here too. Come on, six. Nope. You're like loaded. Every single one I of these know. checks is a Golden it's... Rune 11 or 12. But at this point, it doesn't do anything for us because there's nothing I need to buy, really. Levels. <laughs> Another 10. Go back. Oh, not that one. This one. <laughs> what is the, the, the steeple? What does it scale with? Uh, strength and intelligence, I think. Mostly strength. Let me see. Yeah, but is it like a C or a B? C in intelligence, D in strength. Yikes. Very interesting weapon. But the frost fire damage is just so good. Unlike everything. Oh, it does frost and fire? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Somber 7 again, man. This could be it. It is it. Smithing uh... 6. <laughs> And I think the somber bell bearing two is not until mountaintops. Mm. I don't know that for a fact, but this could be it. A lot of lot of runes. In a way, pumping int is kind of like leveling up your weapon. Kinda. Come on! Oh, I really thought that was it. Come on! Do you already have an eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you think so? I do now. I'm gonna well, get yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do now. I think I already did, though. Not wearing any talismans. Not a one. This tree is uh, can be rough, so let's hope we get some good spawns and not something bad. One of the one time, Andef, I was doing a run, and that mm. giant noodle enemy that shoots rocks at you spawned at the very top up there. I had to quit out like a hundred times to reach the top. I was watching Aggie do a randomizer run once, and he was on the Great Bridge that uh, like goes up to Godric's Great Rune. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. And one of the Estelle babies was there and it no. actually turned into a really cool stealth segment. Oh yeah, where, like, because there's a lot of like divots you, and like, stuff you can hide go in. behind the pillars and stuff. Uh -oh. I was like, man, if this was intended, this would be sick. Invisible enemy could be Loretta, Onyx Lord, could be Fire <laughs> Giant. Oh, I didn't say this arena. I said Godskin, I guess, but... Oh, and no sound. Nice. Gotta love no sound. Doing a lot of damage. 
Don't worry, chat. Everything, and I mean everything, is under control. Nice whiff. Thank you. Under control. Immediately after saying everything's under control. Fire Giant Phase 2 as well. This is like a really dumb boss to get in a small arena. It's... Oh, that was nice. fun. We got some air time there. Yeah. That was cool. Where's my stagger? That's good. There it is. Nice. Huh. Hi. Right in the eye, man. Right in the eye. He really didn't see that one coming. Peepers peeled. What do we get? How long does the weapon oh. last? My God. I re I just recasted it. Can you do oh. something? Okay. I'm gonna do this. Don't roll. Thank you. Oh, that's fun and exciting in the worst way possible. Oh boy. Yeah. The I feel like that would one shot good. me. I feel like probably. That's a lot of fire. Still have not taken you damage. You also somehow. have 59k soul. <laughs> it's fine. It's so fine. This is also fine because I'm just going to jump and then dodge. See? It's fine. It's so fine. This is all fine. See? Still hitless. Still hitless. Oh, oh, that hurt. I bet that would have staggered. Yeah, I was thinking so. There it is. Nice. I'm just going to go for charge dart twos on the head. That's good Frost. damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the head's a really good multiplier. Sometimes better just to do that in a lot of cases. Yeah, where's frost? the frost proc? He does resist frost quite a bit. I mean, that makes sense. He's literally, like, made of fire. Oh, I think I die here, actually, unfortunately. This attack's, like, undodgeable, and it's going to continue here. Not dead. That fire oh. hit me there. That was the fire. Ricocheting. The fire attacks, and that's the only attack that can be bad and undodgeable. This is fine. Not having sound in phase two kind of sucks, too. You're I out don't of have FP. Any blue juice. I was just about to tell you that. Sorry. Okay. I think uh, I think I get him right here. Yeah, I think charge R two combo hits and kills. Nice. Nice. That's good. That was great. What time are we at? That was good. That was really good. One oh one. Really, really good time. Still. Is he still alive? No, he's just okay. I was. <laughs> no, 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 no. It just takes a while. I was just concerned for a moment. GG, guys. We did it. Little scary with only a plus five, but we made it. We're good. Now, do I take the chance for the six and go back and look? Or we do have I keep time. It? How about this? How about I keep going? And if I, well, that was rude. If I find a situation that calls for more damage, I'll go look for stuff. Yeah, you but should level up. For the moment, first. oh yeah, I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna level up here. <laughs> don't don't worry, Adef. I got you. But that's what the plan, I think, is going to be. We're going to level just to 35 and then strength. Yeah. Doesn't it scale better with int? Yeah, but it doesn't always... Res that's usually just for the weapon art damage. But it's uh, it's fine. It's fine. You would think that you would get more damage if you leveled int, but you don't always. It's weird. I know. Did I sit down? I did. Okay. You did. What do we get? Is that Garank? Is that the troll? I think that's a troll chat. We should be okay here. No, it is Garank. Okay. Not very good at this boss.
I definitely could do better at this fight. I'm not very strong at it. I usually do it very passively. Well, yeah, I mean, because you're usually going for Hitless, and he's a yeah. very but I'm aggro doing pretty boss. good here. Not too bad, not too bad. It's going great. Yeah. The stagger is near. He said, not knowing where the stagger meter was. Yeah, well, now you oh, haven't nice. hit him in a while. <laughs> it's a good stagger. Oh. Nice. Really nice. good. This might freeze him, too, for the kill. Not quite. Next hit. Really good, really good, really good. Shall not be forgiven. And we get a sacred tier. That's awesome, too. 103, huh? I don't want to say that this is better than my PB time, but I think it is. I would have to double check that, though. Man, before this in the call, you were like, it's going to go so bad. Dude, this is literally like the best it could ever go. There is I told in, you it could be. In no world should this actually be happening right now. This is really good. And not... It could, it, it could just go... You know, the likelihood of it being the worst ever is probably the same as it being the best. You might be right about that. But I just, I don't know. I expect everything to go wrong when it can go wrong, you know? It's everybody's favorite part of the game. It is. It is. I'm fine with mountaintops, but I hate this next area. The, like, the in-between, what's it called? That's all uh, a quick in-between, I think. Uh, the quick, quick go-between. Oh, go-between, no, sorry. The, Forgive the, uh, me, the go-between. What, what is this? The Forgotten Lands or whatever? The, like, the area I know what you're with talking all the little about. Like, the build-up location? To, yeah. Yeah, that's I just count that as mountaintops, too. It's just no, all one clump of terribleness. It, no, no, mountaintops is like fine. No, it's not. All right, Chad, is mountaintops good? Let's be real it's, with ourselves for okay. just a moment. It's definitely the weakest area in the game. I'll yield. I, that. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, I'll take that. But I think it's still not that bad. But the area in between is so bad. What makes that little in between area bad? There, it, you can't see anything. Mm, Only true. the worst enemies in the game are present. <laughs> and there's what a, a hero's like dungeon or whatever and that's it yeah it's very empty isn't it wait there's a dungeon yeah i'm pretty sure there's a hero's like grave that enemy right there is one of the most underrated crazy enemies in the game that guy that, that dude is wild with the spear there's a lot of checks right here we're gonna take them i could probably just go that way but whatever that could be it right there that could be it right there nice I'll go back here. There's two back here. That could also be it. All right, pause, champ. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, not the birds. Might quit out. We'll see. Mini Millennium. Poison Moth Flight. I don't know if I know that, Ashelbor. Poison Moth. Ooh, Poison Moth Flight. There's also a lobster here. Yeah, there's a knight's cab and a gargoyle, but like, who cares? <laughs> Glove wart seven, golden rune ten. That's rough. You got somebody following you. Got a couple friends oh, they, following they us. Stopped. Oh no, they're still going. All right, so that is all the checks. Um, we are stuck with a plus five. Unless I go out of my way to look for one. Is there not a hero's grave? I don't think there is. Am I going nuts? Huh. Nice. There's a check right here. I think this could technically be one. This is the flame drake talisman. Typically. It could be. Nope. Oh yeah, there's one right here too. But that's not it. It's too small. You tiny chamber shakes. Nope. Root resin. That takes too long to kill, but on, on this run, I'll kill it. The only reason it takes too long, I never kill this guy because it has two phases and you have to wait and it's just a long time. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Big beetle. Big old beetle. We'll see if we get it. Watch us get it, though, right? Nope. 
Not worth the time for one check, but on a pace like this, might as well. Forbidden Lands, that's what it's called. Mm. Okay, so, well, if there's not a dungeon, then it's even weaker. There's a double omen boss fight, isn't there, right here? Yeah, the fell omen twins. I really like this armor set. I, don't know, I know I've said it a lot, but... I think these gloves might even go better. You kind of look like the the painted guys, the guys in Anormando. Yeah, Armando. yeah, yeah, a little. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, there are some checks in the mountaintops, but I think that you cannot find a six in the mountaintops here. I think it is only eights and above, sevens and eights and above, I think. I don't know. You found Golden Rune ones in Landell, so I'm not sure what's real anymore. Yeah, I know. It's there's always like outliers. I've found a somber nine in Limgrave before. What? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Not much to say about this part, chat. Just uh, horse horse back to Fire Giant. But what I think I am gonna do is again, I'll go check Fire Giant. Fire Giant is known as the Run Killer boss. Fire Giant will have two separate boss fights as well as very high scaling. Uh, a lot of my runs die at Fire Giant, like good pace runs, because the this bosses is where the, are just... This is where the plus six would start to be nice. Yes, this is the last point where, like, if you don't have plus six, the rest of the run's going to be tough. So I would like to not make it look so bad for you guys. And like, like I said, I could get good RNG and just get good easy bosses for the rest of the run and do good. But nine times out of ten, uh, we'll be in trouble if I don't find a six. So let's hope we do. I wish this guy spawned somewhere we could have fought him. The Black Blade Scaly Misbegotten. It's funny how you really were glad one of the Misbegotten was gone. Oh. You were really sad that this Misbegotten Well, he's like the little dude. He's like the, the easy version. See, oh, I... you take an elevator out of this area and now you're in mountaintops. And like, at the very least, neglecting gameplay, mountaintops is at least pretty. Whereas it's, like- It looks nice. The area you were just in is so boring. <laughs> yeah, no, it is, it is. Um, we're all, I, I mean, for GDQ, I'll go for the skip. There's a skip that you can do. It's really hard. Um, the tree thing? The tree thing, I don't okay, think. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, no, basically oh, there's a- thing. There's a merchant. Uh, there's a merchant up here, and it, he's kind of out of the way. But there's a skip you can do that lets you check him immediately without going out of your way at all. I'll try it like three times, but that's it. I'm not going to sit there all day. It's really hard. It's really inconsistent. But it saves it, like a lot of time, and it it, really, it's a free merchant check. So. It begs the question, if you needed that medallion to get up here, how did he get up here? Who, Fire Giant? No, the Merchant. Oh, the Merchant. Now, he was born here. That's Fire Giant's son. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. Yeah, yeah. It's like in the lore and everything. Mm. Is there a body video on that? Uh, he said he was working on it last time I checked, but... Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. You asked him? Right, yeah, yeah. We're close friends. Are you? No. No. Oh, I'm so Not sorry. I was kidding. I was kidding. Jokes. Jokes, dude. Jokes. Three checks here. Again, I don't think it can be a six, though. I think we will have to go back to Altus. And even if I take the time to go back to Altus, there's no guaranteeing I'm going to find it, right? It could well, just Well, I think you're actually more likely to find the Somber Bellbearing 2 here, which would give you access to Somber 6. That would be huge if that is a thing that can happen. If we found it, would be huge. It'll be a key item. So it could be under a, a tree or in a church here. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the skip coming up here, guys. I asked Vadi if he would make a video on, um, uh, like, uh, why it's called humanity. Mm. Here's the skip. Yeah. Just jump into this pivot, jump again to get to the highest point, and then just literally jump over here. It's really hard and inconsistent. That's the skip. Um, I'll try it like two or three more times. And the Somber merchant Bell is three right there. gives a six? Oh, never mind. No, oh, rip. Oh, no, that's the one in the mountaintops, is it not? Oh, did I just get I, it? I don't know. Oh, that was close. That was really close. 
I'm still trying to get summoning salt to make a video about my my height progression. <laughs> nah, that's not good enough. I could t you could tell if it's not like I guess I'm not gonna sit here and do it. You could get a first try. You could get it after an hour. But there's a merchant up there, and it's worth doing a couple times. But I don't think it's worth doing too much. Like when you shoot in basketball or throw a pass in, in like football or baseball, the second it leaves your hand, you know yep. immediately if it's good. You knew. Enough. It's like, yep, no, that wasn't it. Exactly. Play any sports, been, uh, I used to, not anymore. I used to be like really into sports, like super, super into sports, but not anymore. Kind of grew out of it, which is weird. I didn't know that sports was something you could grow out of. Were you yeah. a hockey person? Having I was never everything, Canada? but yeah, I was huge into hockey. Played my whole life. What position did you play? Uh, center. Center. I'm gonna act like that means something to me. Hockey's one of the sports I know the least about. It's the one he takes. The, the center takes the face off. Ah, that guy. The movie with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Who? Face off. Don't worry about it. Okay. I was trying to think of something funny to say. I couldn't think of anything. That's okay. That's okay. You set me up for a joke, but I, I really flopped on it. It happens. Um, normally, when you play this game, you might take that frozen lake to get to Fire Giant. However, it is faster to do, to, to do this, which I learned doing this speed run. Invisible bridge. And now normally you can take another invisible bridge to get up there. However, what I'm going to do is this. Nice. And that skips the whole lake. Very easy skip that you can do at home. Well, I mean, I guess it's it could be worse, Adef. We could have a plus four right now, right? Yeah. Could be worse. <laughs> the same could be said about three, two... Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess so. I just, I've went, like, I've been doing these runs to practice for today for the past, like, month of my stream, and I've noticed that five and sixes are the two hardest to come by for some reason. At least that's what it feels like. You know, Swed, the somber six is going to be in the last place you, you check. That's usually how it goes. I'm, I'm going to go before, like, I'm going to go try Fire Giant once. If it's something really bad and we die, or it's just, you know, if it's something really bad and I die, I'll probably go in, get my runes that we lose, and then I'll go look for a six. Spend the runes. Yeah, I guess I could just spend the runes. You're right. There's literally no reason not to. I'm, I'm my get my my plan for speed efficiency would to be wait on my runes until yeah, I get and the then six. Sell them all. Sell them all at once while upgrading. Yeah. Then level that's up. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But you might be right. I mean, I get this grace anyway. So let's let's just sit down at I it. Think, I think I think spend the ones you've got, and then when you go to round table, sell because you'll still get like easily twenty or thirty k. Oh, out of what, what we have. have? In your, oh, in your we inventory. have like sixty k. I'd say in my inventory. It really, really. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Skrit now wants me to remind you that s r remind Swed that he has those usual checks by the lobsters that he skipped. Usual checks by the lobsters. In Lane Dell? Or in, or in Liernia? I think I'm assuming Skrit he's talking, talking about, about in... The, the ones in Lane Dell yeah, that you walked yeah, past? The, 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 yeah, that's the ones I'm thinking too. It's a good reminder. I should probably check those first because it'd be quicker and we have the grace. All right, let's see what we get. Maybe it'll be easy. Maybe it won't be anything bad. Maybe it will be, it's gonna be the soldier. worst thing ever. Oh, okay. it's dragon. That is not good, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll give it the old college go. Is he bugged? What's going on? Ah, uh, no, he'll turn around once we get close. I'm going to take advantage of it though and sneak up on him. I don't know which Dragonkin soldier this is, but we'll find out. That's good damage. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, it is only phase one, I guess. Already staggered? We have the stagger tier equipped. Oh, yeah. So a reminder, this way we'll have to face two bosses here. So phase one of Fire Giant and phase two of Fire Giant occupy two different slots in the randomizer. It was the good one, by the way. I don't want to interrupt you, but we got lucky here. Nice. Yeah, this is not the one that, like, flies around. Right. Nice. Easy. That was All right, really Dragon good. Kid 2 for second phase. Who? Oh, it's the Mimic tier. That's fun. Little T pose action. Little T pose. This is fun. I never get mimicked here. Ow. Okay, don't do that. Now you're scaring me. I guess I could just do running attacks, right? Like, I don't think the mimic tier can actually defend against just simple running attacks. I'm pretty sure this is just cheese at this point. Pretty sure. No, don't heal. That's not very nice. Don't do that. Nice. Well, that's his only heal, so it's okay. Yeah. You silly goose. It is very funny to me that NPCs always do that, but then I remember that people do it too. <laughs> like, yeah, I did it on this run. So. Exactly. Oh, wait, no, when, an NP when an NPC drinks a flask, but it's empty, and they're like, oh, I'm like, well, I do that sometimes, so <laughs> oh. I guess it is true. <laughs> wow, this run didn't die to Fire Giant. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. This just, what, I just five oh, bosses left. Six. Just, bosses. I just can't get over how silly this has been so far. Oh my, one eighteen. Okay. However, got like uh, I was doing a run last night. I was telling Adef chat last night. I was doing a run. It's pretty good actually, and uh, I got all the way to this point of the game with a plus four. Um, I forget the weapon it was. It was a, uh, I think it was the Dragon's Halberd. Really good weapon. Well, I shouldn't say it's a good weapon. It's okay. But I got all the way to this point, kind of similar run, and I got, I got real Moog in uh, Fire Mazul's Godskin Duo, and I was there for an hour. But huh. I'm very good at Moog now. I'm so good at Moog. But it was rough. So not Sewer Moog. No, if it was Sewer Moog, we'd be fine. It was real Moog. I'm also gonna level up. And we're going to commit a cardinal sin, as we Any do. cardinal sin committers. committers. There you go. In the chat. Mod check. You have to say it every time. Committer check. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. This is so good, dude. This has no business being... I still have no talismans. So maybe you'll get the somber... I don't There's think a, you the, can the, find a six here, though. I don't... No, I'm I, saying the, the bell-bearing three maybe is here. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. But also, at this rate, I feel like you're going to find a somber 9 and 10 before you find the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, lobster here. If there's a check by this lobster, I'm going to skip because it's a lobster. Okay. Three checks here. Going to land squirt. We'll kill it. <laughs> The land squirt replacing yeah. a dragon. Gotta love the land squirts. The land squirts remind me of Ain Run. Okay, well, hang on. You just got a smithing six. Yeah. I think the smithing is different. Don't, honestly, I'll be honest, Adef. I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time. Okay. But That's, hey, look, most people would not be able to admit that. I, I will be the first person to say I don't know anything about this game but like I know some things but from my experiences of doing this I will not find a six here maybe okay. I will though maybe I don't know anything no no, no. I, mean, I believe you but I but I from my experience I'm gonna grab this just in case you never know you do be never knowing I would never get that grace normally but you never know we're here for a fun time and if we're running back through farm Azul too many times it might not be too fun 
Uh, this is a prayer book, so I'm going to skip it right here. I guess prayer books aren't randomized. I don't know. I guess they're key items. Any somber six enjoyers in chat? The bloody hell is cool. All right, this part can be bad, too. It looks like we got a decent spread, though. Looks okay. Somber 10. Oh. Ancient. Smithing 10. Okay. Yeah, you are flush with cash. Yeah, like, we got a even lot. The, even the smithing 10s sell for like 10,000. I don't think they do. 10,000? Not in the rando. Probably just a, probably 1,000 if I had to guess. All right, never mind. You know more than me. Not even the rando. I think in like normal. I, I could do, be That's wrong. what I'm saying. I could be wrong too. I think oh, I probably yeah, okay, am yeah, yeah. I think it's 1,000. I mean, I'll go check. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to stop until something no, walls no, no. me. I'm just going to keep going with my plus five. Maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Or maybe we'll get Elden Beast down here and we'll cry. Who is it? I can't it's see. It's something invisible. I'm locked on. No, oh, it's, it's not, not invisible. invisible. Did I not buy the crafting kit? Oh, wait. Yes, I did. I was going to say, we're just in a fight. Before I aggro whatever that is, I'm just going to do this real quick. Just in case. I can't tell what that is. Is it the invisible? Oh, it's a duelist. Okay. Oh, nice. This is a cool fight. Come here, bro. I'm going to hit him with the one, too. Ow. That backswing. All right, we can get him in a stagger loop now. <laughs> This is sad for him. Yes, this is, this is why you want to always run a great sword right here. Because this loop exists a lot in Elden Ring. I mean, your tear is, is helping. I didn't even use it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wow. And that goes for any great sword. Um, that's why I always run a great sword. Great swords and great axes, great hammers are the best in Elden Ring, in my opinion, just because of true combos like that. We're going to attack this pillar, so whatever spawns down here will go to it. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's fun. Uh-oh. Angie jellyfish. I don't know why I'm checking this. I normally would never. You've got a good feeling. I just... Oh, it's a somber seven. Somber, I don't think it could be six. Somber and smithy seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, dude. We're going to do a skip up here. Oh, this is... This is this will be fun. I just huh? learned this. Yeah, I just learned a new skip. It's It's oh, been around forever. Thing? Yeah, I've never done this until recently. Yeah, it's a good just one. Just learned this. It is. It's pretty, I should it's, probably learn it, to be honest. It's not too bad. It's kind of nice. But yeah, we're going to try this. It's, like, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is you really nice. You get to nice. skip so much annoying stuff. And it's not too bad to do. It's actually, like, pretty solid. I have a lot of runes. <sighs> should I risk it for the biscuit? No, you should... Just level up. It takes five ADF, seconds. ADF is not a biscuit risker, Chad. I am not a rune... I am a rune enjoyer. Yeah, okay. you really are. So anyway, even like skip. 10k. Ooh, that's a lot. 11k. Yeah, there's the skip. Go on, sorry. So basically, there's like this big section with all these birds and the uh, the dragon that shoots the red lightning. Um, mm -hmm. But you can jump around. You can jump around. Jump, jump around. Jump, jump around. Yeah, we we were on the same. Okay. Yeah. So I actually just fell off there. That was an accident. But to do the skip, you just want to block and hold sprint. And you will land on this ledge. Really easy. You can do this at home. Very simple. That leads you down here. There's a chest back there. We're not gonna take we're not gonna look at it though, because it takes too long. 
<clears throat> we're gonna climb up here. This is the hard part. Yes. And what makes it? Oh, that bird is in a not good bird. spot. I'm gonna ignore the bird. Hopefully, it, it ignores us. Somber eight. Land here. The key to this is to not sprint. And I was sprinting and falling off, but you have to jog here. I didn't know that. If you sprint, it's inconsistent. Here's where you have to sprint. Nice. First try. Nice Let's go. Sprint. Let's go. Let's go. But it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I was having a lot of inconsistencies with it because I was sprinting to stay on, and apparently that makes it inconsistent. If you just jog, it's way easier. I have not fallen since I've been jogging. This is also a check I should not be doing. It's going to be a stone sword key. Hero's rune too. I meant to say that. Um, He's just having a time. He's hanging out. Okay. So that takes us out to Malekith. And you can just kind of see how much that skipped. How much time that just saved. Uh, really this is nice. the Yeah, it's really nice. It skips that whole bird section. It's really easy. You could do that one at home. I always like showing off the, the skips you can do at home that aren't like ridiculous learning and like setup, you know? Like that, that might bird even skip, be worth for hitless. You know? Oh yeah, there's a lot of hitless runners that do it, 100%. Not only because it's easy, but because it saves time. And you don't have to contend with the birds. Yeah, and if you fall, if you miss the skip, if you're fast enough, you can just teleport in the map to, to save yourself, which is allowed in hitless. If I get one more seven, I go. <laughs> the thing about that that's actually really, really wild is that Ooh. there are not very many somber sevens in the game. Yeah, I know. I literally have them all. I'm going like to kill this as a check. Yeah. So. Why not? What do we get? Perfume bottle. I don't have full health. It's kind of frustrating. That is Margit, I think. That is Margit. This is also a two phaser, just yep. like, uh, just like Fire Giant. V Sweat just got hit on Margit. More at eleven. Unless I'm tanking intentional damage. Okay. Okay. Frost. Maybe on the repost. Should be. No. Wild. There it is. Jump. Oh, not what you want to see. Less fortunate. Not horrible damage. Stagger? Stagger? This was my least favorite boss, casually. Good damage. If sweat's done all remembrances hit list, this is going to be fine. Light work, chat. Light work. Nice. We love that. Ah, it's hoping for a stagger. Oh, I rolled that. That's wild. That's actually crazy. <laughs> stagger? No? Kind of expecting one. I know you take less. Oh, this is going to hurt. Nice. I laid on the ground intentionally there. Whew. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, that was a grab. Why was he doing a grab? I thought that was something else. One. That's gonna hit. Yep. Heal. Buff. Get hit. Oh, Dude. that's kind of sick, actually. Nice roll. 
Oh, big, big, big stagger here. Charger I'm actually kind of surprised that staggered. I was keeping it going with all those R1s, the oh, meter. Oh, the tiny little R1s. Yeah, they were keeping it going. This should be GG. Nice. GG. Nice, dude. What is this run at? What? 31! Okay, okay. We can take, we can take, oh, S Smithing Stone and Somber Bell Bearing 5. <sighs> I'll, I'll go back and look. I'll go back and look. I'll go back and look. This do you want to take, do you, do you take our second yeah, break? Let's here take real our quick? second break, guys. Let's do it. This is turning into quite the finish. Okay. Everybody go follow VSWED. We're going to take our second this break is turning here. Into crazy, man. Okay. Okay. Only three bosses remain. Five. Four, five, five bosses. Oh, yeah. Because boss. uh, yeah. Horaloo. So yeah. five bosses remain. Stay tuned, gamers. There's going to be more GDQ, more Elden Ring right after this short break. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. This is Challenger Approaching. Gamers, did you know that Awesome Games Done Quick 2024 will be live in person January 14th to the 21st in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Use exclamation AGDQ in Twitch chat for more info. Feel free to at Games Done Quick on Twitter to let us know what you're hoping to see on the games list. I submitted some stuff. Very exciting. Remote volunteer applications open up September 25th. So keep your eyes open if you'd like to help out with uh, GDQ with anything from the comfort of your own home. Swed, whenever you're ready, take it away. Sounds good, ADF, my friend. Let's get it, guys. Count it down from five, four, three, two, and one. Let's continue. Going to take a little time loss and go back to uh, the round table just to see if there's anything that could help me. I'm not going to go check those extra checks I was talking about earlier in Lendell unless I get absolutely stonewalled by whatever's going to be in this boss fight. But for now, I am going to go back to the to the round table just to check, just to see if I missed a somber six line around. I don't think I did, but we'll check again. There's also I could check this up here. There's a few checks. I don't know what she can have, but apparently she can have a six <laughs> and a ten and a ten for three thousand. Okay, okay, what? And then I think you get the nine from the somber bell bearing that you have. So I would check. Okay, that. okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm like my brain just. Oh my. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, guy. Okay. Like seriously, this is hilarious. Yeah, they're vanilla. I told you. Oh man. Oh man. That's a plus ten. We have ten minutes to uh, PB, and that's a lot of time for five bosses. If we have a plus ten steeple. Oh. Oh, no. There you go. We got to clean up your, your warp movement. Yeah, that is one thing I need to work on. As, as someone that's not primarily a speedrunner, that's one thing that I've noticed that is tough for me is warping because you can use the shoulder buttons to do it quicker. Yeah. I'll do like that and then this. And yeah, I think just pump that. int. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just not let's not think too much. Yeah, here. I don't think you need to level up again. No talismans. <laughs> no talismans. Sometimes you don't need them. This is I've never this is actually the very first time ever since I've been doing these runs I've had a plus 10 weapon. Yeah, this is really unlikely. Yeah, I've Especially never had a plus 10 before. Especially trying to go fast, before. like the likelihood that you're going to get everything. Mhm. Mm this is the very first time. Why did the Finger Maiden have? I have no so idea. Many she no had like idea. Six, seven, I've checked eight. her many times in the past, and she's never had one. So I have no, I have no idea where she grabs her items from. But I'll take it. All right, five bosses. Get your blessing in in the chat. Mm. Don't be Elden Beast. Don't be... I mean, even if it's Elden Beast at this point, like... An invisible enemy. Okay. Godskin. Onyx Lord. Oh. Ghost Loretta. To stand before the Elden Ring. Godskin Apostle. To the Lord. It's kind of annoying Sewer Moog. I commend your spirit, but to alas, listen to the monologue. She'll take the throne. 
Queen Marika has high hopes for us. That we continue to struggle. On to eternity. <laughs> kind of a time loss, which is unfortunate. You can probably one cycle. Probably. Yeah, I doubt it. Really high scaling. I'm expecting a three cycle, honestly. Eh, maybe a two. We'll see. Oh, yeah, my god. The damage is low. I wasn't expecting that low, but it's fine. I missed. Four. Yep. That was a fast phase. Yeah, that was good. No, nah, I don't die. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, it's right there. Even the students falling on me do so much damage. Slow but clean. Yeah, Renala's a, a killer, especially at high scaling. Phase two, Renala, if we get her anywhere, we might not finish because she just does too much damage. Renala's a big issue in these randomizers, which normally she's one of the easier fights, but if she, or if her phase two shows up, it can be bad. Really, really, really bad. Really, really bad. Really bad. Plus, like, she's really resistant to our magic damage, so. Why it took so long? Do I have to sit down here? We have nothing. You might as well level up, too. Might as well. Getting more at f uh, intelligence scaling at this point. All right, final four. Elite four. The elite four, even. Five minutes for a PB. I doubt it, but this run is like apps for GDQ guys. This is wow. Rotten duelist here. So again, this is another boss that has stagger two phases. Lock. Um, <clears throat> so Vsweat will have to fight two bosses here. GG on the first. God, that damage. No, it's him. It's wait, wait, him. It, it's the one. <laughs> it's him. I no, thought you just, said he was out. It's fine. No, it's, it's fine. It's, it's the fine, easy it's one. Fine. I'm just making him. I'm just being a silly goose. A silly goose. The silliest of geese. I had Parky on a couple weeks ago and she was doing Dark Souls 3 and there was a boss that had like the same moveset as Lionel Misbegotten. I can't remember who it was. I'm going to go for it right here. I'm not going to sit down because I could PB. 142.30 or uh, I don't remember my exact PB. It's a late 142. If I get two really easy fights, we PB and that would be <laughs> like 
this is a this is a PB I didn't think I'd ever beat, let alone one shotting it on GDQ. So this is let's Here we see. Go. What do we get? I'm gonna say uh, magma worm. It's been a while. Godric. Oh no. And just like that, dude. Good chance we're gonna die. A very good chance. I'm just gonna focus on not dying. This attack is my least, one of my least favorite attacks in the game where she throws that scepter. Okay, now that she's getting near her phase two, I'm gonna actually cast my stuff that I've been neglecting. That way, if I do get a frost bite, it'll be where I need it, not at the start of the fight. I'm just strafe left for this. Look how much one of those little things did to me right there. Nice, there's our frost. Got a troll here. Got him away and then run under. I think she just respawns there, yep. We got really lucky, I played this very well, I'm happy with that. Nice, Swed. FP. Oh, and we get a free GG. Uh, and the random and the randomizer, whenever you're met with Rykerd, the game gives you a Serpent Hunter, as well as turns off the fire on the ground. This is a, fr this is a very anticlimactic finish, but uh, we did it. This is awesome. Okay, we're not out of the water yet. Let's not die. I only have three heals. And this isn't upgraded. Stagger? No PB, I don't think, guys. Damage just isn't there. I don't have any exalted flesh. It's all right, though. <laughs> I don't know if hitting the head does more damage here. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Because in the speedrun, they are one the head when it when it staggers. We got Rancor going right now. All right, I hope this is enough. Jump R2. Star wanted down, yeah. Nice. 142.50. One, I'll say a 143. Right there is where I get time. 143.02 in game time. That is seconds away from the best run that I've ever done ever. That is... I don't know. Like That's that's pretty remarkable, if I do say so myself. So You played that Renala so well. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to... I didn't want to chance Renala because I've, I've been greedy on that fight so many times and just died from magic. Like, I just knew that'd be better just to play it safe. But, like, that is... An absolutely juiced run, guys. That is that is the best run that I could offer for sure. Like I, I couldn't, sick. I could not you, offer a better run. If you guys aren't following Vsweat right now, I literally don't know what to do for you. Like, <laughs> you're making one of the poorest decisions you've ever made in your life. So I highly recommend you follow him and rectify that because you're actually it's actually mind boggling the poor decision making that you're putting on display. Are you uh, by telling default. chat that they have poor decision making, Adolf? I'm saying that they do if they don't follow you. Oh, so they have a choice. I see, I see. So they yeah, can yeah, choose yeah, to yeah, have yeah. good decisions or not. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. Well, we, we've got some extra time here. We do have extra time. 
I mean, um, it's completely up to you guys what we should do. We do have a I little think time. We should see what some other bosses are. You guys want to go like explore some other bosses, maybe? Like where though? Like who do I go? Who do we go say hi to? You you could try to make it to Melania, but I feel like there's a lot to do to get there. There is a lot to do to get to Melania. I don't think I could do that in time. Plus, I don't have any yeah, braces. Um, let's see. Where could we go? Let's you go. You could check out the other remembrance bosses. We could go. We could go see what Renala has. She's probably like she's probably scaled down quite a bit, but like. You know, we yeah, can I mean, hang you out. You will still one shot her, but <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so to unlock the um, the academy, we actually have to go back to the lake here and grab the academy key. The academy key is, uh, of course, a key item. So we'll grab that, and it'll gain us entry to the cat or the. I guess it's not a castle. What is it? It's a manor. I don't know. This? No, like Renala's place. Oh, it's a school. Oh, oh. oh, well, this is a school. You're talking about the the. Um, estate, the like the man. Like, yeah, yeah, like the the grounds, I guess you could call it. Where the uh, where Ronnie is, you mean? Yeah, yeah, well, that's where I want to go. Yeah, I feel that, like that'd be like, like a... within our time constraints. I feel like that's like the one thing we could go do real quick. Maybe Millennia's there. Yeah, that's like what's it called? Carrion Manor, isn't that what it's called? No, that's where Ghost Loretta is. Carrion Manor. Yeah, that's near what I'm talking Iggy. about. It's near Iji. Oh, yeah, wait. wait. What are you talking about? Are I'm talking, talking about, about Renala. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, a school. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this guy's actually blocking the pickup. That's fun. You um, will, you probably, will delete this person off I don't think I will. Here. These octopuses are kind of not the best enemy in the game. Oh, wait, can I get that maybe? I, mean, I probably could have. All right, that was a decent, that was more damage than I was expecting. Okay, that's a good amount. Got our key. Um, and thank you guys in chat for uh, for enjoying the showcase. I'm just so glad that I had such a good run. Like that is, it's a randomizer at the end of the day. So I'm like obviously very skeptical going into it, but to like literally tie my PB, it's absolutely it's so cool. So cool, dude. So happy you guys got to see it. A good run. Yeah, and with Ryan the steep. It's a school of wizardry. It's like a magic Whimsical. School. It's like magic. You get the you get the uh you the, the key is called the Academy key. That is true. Yeah, you're right. I just I guess I just didn't ever picture I this is like a castle more than a school to me, you know? We need we don't need for VSPED, we don't need Vadi video videos about like why certain NPCs look a certain way. We need a Vadi video video on like what the word the means. <laughs> Wait, what what does the word the mean? Well it's an article adjective. Sweat, a what? If you must know, an article adjective. What is an article adjective? Uh, v, a, an are all article adjectives. They like what does what? Why thing. why article though? I don't oh. know. Let's look up the definition. All I know is that is what they're called. Maybe I need the body video to do. Maybe yeah. The maybe. words a, an, and the are a special group of adjectives called article adjectives. They are used more than any other adjectives. Uh, they're sometimes called articles or noun makers. Noun makers, I like that. It's like the mound makers from Dark Souls 3, except it's the noun maker from Dark Souls 3. No? Anyone? No? Yeah, I got you. He got me? Okay. Dude, I, I kind of remember, forgot that this is a randomizer. This can be really bad with all, like, I got kind of lucky this, like, with what spawn. I mean, you know, sometimes you're in trouble. Okay, we're good. We're when in doubt, roll it out. When in doubt, just increase the pitch of your voice. Really high pitch. Yeah, when you asked what's the definition of an article adjective, I was just going to be like, I don't know, V, A, and AN. <laughs> or AN. Those are the only three, so <laughs> those. We could actually get something in Red Wolf. That's another boss. So there's two bosses we're going to get to do at least. Yeah, you could check Red Wait, Wolf. Wait, is Renala a two phaser? I think so. Yes, yeah. Because nice. you've had both phases in different locations. So yeah, yeah, but for some reason, cool. Godric is a two-phaser, but it's only one in the randomizer. It makes no sense. No, 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 because Godric doesn't... Godric doesn't get a new health bar. Oh, uh, that's what dictates it. Okay. I think, Or no, 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 because Horalu doesn't get a new health bar either. I think it's yeah, I when know. the name of the boss changes. Because, mm. like, Godric's name doesn't change when he phase transitions. It's still the same boss, he's just a little bit different. But, like, right. Horalu is, like, a new boss. Yeah, the yeah. fire giant's name doesn't change, but he's like a new boss. I don't know, dude. 
I got see no we got. idea. I'm assuming whatever's in here is going to die very quickly because of scaling. Oh, yeah, and it's one of these guys. These guys are cool enemies, though. But he's getting melted. One of these guys in a mine in my first playthrough messed me up. Not much to say about that. Got a memory stone. Is that vanilla? That memory stone? Yes. Don't you get a memory? Well, yeah. there, are, there are quite a few memory stones, and they are key items. So they're Oh, are they key items? Okay, that makes yeah. sense then. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So what have you been uh, What have you been gaming lately, Adef? I've been hooked on Lies of P this last Everyone week. is, dude. Everyone is. You know, I'm going to do a hitless run on Lies of P. I was, was going to ask if you were planning on that. I am. I am planning on it. Have you done Sekiro? Hitless? No. Not Sekiro, no. Because I feel like it's going to be similar because there's so much parrying involved. Yeah, lots of parrying. I'm not opposed to doing a lot of parrying. It's helpful. I, I would say most of the boss, most of the hard bosses in the game I've fought so far like were only possible because of parrying. I see. Like, rolling is bad. Who's this guy? I mean, what I'll a dodge him. on that backstab. It looks kind of scary, actually. Oh, never mind. I keep forgetting where we're at in the game. Yeah, you're plus 10. And plus 10 in Rhea Lucario. Like, even if something relatively, quote-unquote, bad spawned in this arena, it's just going to get melted anyway. But maybe it'll be I, Millennia. A hunt I was, for like, Millennia. so surprised by Liza P. I was not expecting anything, and it's, like, genuinely enjoyable. I saw the demo a little, and I only heard positive things. Is that Morgoth? That is Morgoth. That's not good. Morgoth's kind of scary. You're plus 10, v But it's Morgoth, and he does you cartwheels. You have hitless this boss like a hundred times. Yeah, but he's scary, dude. Like, this R2 is not going to do any damage, or neither is this one. Or even, dare I say, this one. Staggering. And then when I take this <laughs> repost, it's not going to do any damage either. Mm-hmm. It's a really scary fight, okay? Okay, this is kind of scary. Yeah, is it? That headshot a, did so th much damage. This is a boss that is so resistant to slash, and you are still going to mess it up. N like, mess up the boss. Yeah, not, oh yeah, yeah. Not yeah, play yeah. poorly. You know what I meant. I know what you meant. I have no stamina. Don't hurt me! Ow! That did nothing! It did nothing. Neither did that. It did no damage. That Normally, when I see these guys in, like, Altus Plateau, they do, like, one-shot me. I've spent a lot of time on this boss, like getting decent at it. I wouldn't even say I'm good at this fight any like why, I'm okay. why are you practicing this to get the weapon? Practicing it because I'm not very good at this boss, and like I said, if it had a high scaling arena, I would lose the oh, run and to practicing it, it for the rando. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you meant for Ow. a hitless run back in the day. No, originally no, no. you guys were considering for all remembrances, like Ain was doing the weapon this guy drops, right? Ah, before the meta changed, yeah, the yeah. Uh, the Falling Star Beast Jaw got nerfed. The poise damage it deals got nerfed, I think. Was it the poise damage? I think it was the poise damage got nerfed. But that used to be, like, one of the go-to weapons back in that the day. That weapon art is crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't want to be born in it. Um, okay, now you should go see what Soldier of Godric is. <laughs> Can I do that? How do I get back there? Uh, right here. Warp... Yeah, warp to stranded graveyard. What if Soldier of Godric is Millennia? Then what? <sighs> I'll be so excited. I'll be so happy. Just a one shot Millennia. All right, let's go check. It, the, like, what? What if it is though? That'd be so funny. That'd be like the cherry on top of such a fun day. <laughs> I can't remember if I've ever actually went through this part of the game other than my very first time playing. I don't think I did. I mean, what is down here normally? Is anything down here? I had to come here through here for Twitch Rivals, I think. What's down here? Other than the Some boss. Enemies. Just enemies, Some right? Enemies. Like, just, that did no damage. Like, literally nothing. Okay. Oh, no, the lightning. 
I mean, I want to let it hit me. I want to see. I want to see how much it does. It still does a decent. Like, look at this thing. This That's thing is, actually nuts. That thing is wild. That thing has lost so many runs for me. Like, it just destroys you if it's in a bad spot. Like, that would one shot you. Oh yeah. Like midway through the game. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Those things ruin a lot of runs. And it's scaled to the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That did a lot of damage to be scaled. Like, like those lightning balls are the scariest thing in the rando. One of them. I just can't get over the uh, the run though. Like, I'm just so wait. I'm lost. Oh yeah, I'm I lost. Get lost here. I think you is go it, left. Is it this way? I think it's no, this no, way. No, 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 no. I no, I, I, is it over you here? Go other way. Professional Elden Ring gamer, turn around, by the turn way. Turn, turn around. around. Go forward. I'm gonna die in the tutorial area. No, Help. you're not. Help! Okay, we're good. And then you turn left, I think. Wait, this is where I came in, right? Oh, is this where you came from? I don't know. I don't know. No, this I'm is I'm genuinely this is lost. This is where you go. This is where you go. This is where you go. The boss arena is right here. All right, all right. Here we go, Millennia! <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, we got the repeat. So that's... Okay, so that's actually something I could bring up to chat. Is there are a couple bosses for today that I uh, omitted from showing up. One of these said bosses is Fia's Champions. If we were to get Fia's Champions in a late area, uh, there basically wouldn't be anything I could do to complete it because of, like I said, the scaling would be three NPCs, well, five NPCs chasing you down with a lot of ridiculous weapon arts. So we've omitted a few bosses because of these situations that can occur. And since I'm omitting a couple bosses from showing up, the game has to then replace it with something. And that's why we're seeing Morgoth again. Very uh, unlucky, but oh my goodness, that Charge Char 2 did so much. It didn't do as much as I thought it would. Well, no Millennia, sadly. I wish I could figure out where Millennia... I guess I could check the spoiler logs, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, check the spoiler log. If it's accessible, you should go do it. I want to check the spoiler... I mean, I don't know if there's a way to like read the spoiler log. I could check it real quick, though. Let's take a look. Spoiler logs. Most recent. Let's see where Millennia is. I mean, it should tell you, right? I would imagine. I actually don't know. I've never really looked in the spoiler log. Oh, there's a lot of text. Um, You can just search for it. Control F for Millennia. Oh, yeah, true. Control F. Millennia. Where is she? Find next. And Millennia. Millennia's gauntlet. Millennia's armor. Millennia's winged helm. There's a lot of millennia text in this. Um, if this doesn't bear fruit, I would say just go do Plassey's Arena. Oh wait, previous? I oh, yeah, previous. I, mm, there's just too many words with millennia in this, sadly, to, to search it up effectively. Uh, go to Citus oh, Axe's arena. Oh, dude, that's such a good idea. Yeah, let's go do that. That's such a good idea. Because that'll actually be a boss that's scaled up in a challenge. That's a really good yeah. idea. I almost just jumped down there. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. And then I would say this is probably the last thing we'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been fun, though. It's been a lot of fun. Maybe this uh, this will be a tough fight. Another thing that we omitted, I, I guess I could talk more about the omitting of some bosses because it's something I did not talk about. Another thing I've omitted from the bosses showing up uh, is, I don't know its exact name. What's its exact name? It's one of, I did so much damage. It's one of the, uh, the invisible Black Knife Assassins. If you get the invisible version of the Black Knife Assassin, it's basically GG because you can't see. Uh, without the sentry torch, and it's not, you know, 100% sure that we're going to find the sentry torch on a randomizer. So because of that, uh, I had to get rid of her as well. Uh, I also got rid of Gideon, because Gideon scaled up is a nightmare. And can also just stop a run. Um, basically, all the a lot of the NPCs, not all of them though, just Gideon and Fia's champions, along, like I said, the invisible assassin are omitted. All right, let's see what we get. 
Here we go. If I was, uh, oh, it's a bell bearing dude. Oh well. These it's guys still are the fun. coolest. This is yeah, the coolest yeah. arena that El that FromSoft has ever. Designed. I agree with you on that. This is also my favorite arena ever. Dragon Lord Hunter. It's kind of cool. Like, look at this place. Oh yeah, dude, it's it's fantastic. All right, let's go. Ah, this time that. Oh yeah, well, there's not much damage. Plus 10, by the way, remember. You can always see me kind of go into like his right foot, and that's to bait out that shield attack. You can get him in a loop. It's not like super consistent, but it's nice. I say this a lot, but I think the thing that's most impressive to me about hitless runs is like, and hitless runners in general when I watch them play is like the wherewithal to not just attack every time you have an opportunity. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Cause like, like I'm, I'm always mashing R1, but like you have the, the patience and discipline not to just swing every time and like wait for a good opening. And that's because I've died smashing that R1 button so many times that my brain's like, it's faster if you don't smash the R1 button. But even sure. though I'm still like, I want to smash the R1 button. I kind of want to get grabbed by that too, just to show you how cool it is. But I also don't want to die. And I feel like that would have one shot me. It's got to be stagger. Still no. That's a AoE. No, it's not. Wow. Cannot believe that. I just love this fight, man. It's a good one. Oh, got caught on him there. Ah! There's the AoE. Knew it was coming. Uh-oh. It hurts. It hurts. Ow. <laughs> it hurts. Dude, his range wow. set is uh, quite scary. Such a cool Kukri. enemy, though. Such a cool Kukri. enemy. Do I have Kukri? I don't think I have any throwables. No, no, I was just saying, I, I don't think you have any throwables either. I was just saying Kukri be like... Oh, I did. I have Glintstone scraps. Could have been nice. Could have killed him with that. Oh, well. It's all for fun anyway, guys. Yeah. We already had the best run of all time, and I am very, very, very happy with that. I could not ask for a better performance, a better time with you guys. It was a lot of fun today. Absolutely. Gamers, thank you so much for watching. Please do go follow VSweat if you're watching on YouTube right now. VSweat's link is in the description. If you're on Twitch, check him out right now. Uh, VSweat, will you be streaming tomorrow? Hey. Tomorrow, yes, I will be streaming tomorrow. We're actually, I have uh, something planned that I have had planned for quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to be playing through Resident Evil 2 for the very first time. Not tomorrow, but upcoming very soon. Uh, so it's the first time I've ever played a Resident Evil game. We're going to be doing that on stream. As far as Elden Ring content goes on my stream chat, you guys will be seeing me return to a run that I've been working on that I put on the back burner to get ready for this event today for you guys. And that run that I will be returning to is Great Bow only, only Great Bows, Hitless, Elden Ring, the, the, the entirety of the game without being damaged, without taking any damage from any enemy or boss in one sitting. Great bow only. My it's pretty personal, gnarly. yeah, I mean, it's, it's a tough one. The personal best on that is one hit. I've done it the whole game, one hit only. And uh, I couldn't get it done. I died with Elden Beast, had one HP left. And oh. uh, yeah, and I was like, I have to start getting ready for GDQ, so I have to put this on the back burner. But I'm returning to it. I am returning to it. And that is what you will see on my channel. If I see you in chat, in the Vsweat channel. That's what you'll be seeing. And feel free to come say hi. We uh, we love new people. We do, we do. Phenomenal. Very, yeah. Well, gamers, that is going to do it for Challenger approaching this evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. The GDQ content is not over, however. We have our very own Cutie Roo with their show Legally Cute coming up right after this. That's a show all about cute and cozy speedruns. 
Also, tomorrow, this Saturday, will be a Hobbit Day special where we will be showcasing Lord of the Rings speed runs all day starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. That is tomorrow. But again, there is more content coming up right after this. My name is ADEF. You can find me on everything as ADEF. And uh, gamers, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Stick around. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.